all right, what well, I'd like to show you here quickly is how to set up an arc map for exporting to Adobe Illustrator and how to do it. Now, this is pretty straightforward and pretty simple, but there are a couple of key things you need to do when you export an arc map as an Adobe Illustrator file. And so that's what I'd like to show you right now. Let's see. So um, here we just have a map of the part of the Caribbean. Maybe where the U.S. is thinking of invading the Bahamas instead of Granada this time. I don't know. But either way, so what we're going to do is go to File, Export Map. And here what we'll do is, you know, obviously give it a file name you recognize. Granada. Um, choose Adobe Illustrator, so AI file. And here's the important thing. Everything else is pretty straightforward. Under Options, so if this is minimized, click on Options. And then you, if this is going to be a print map, you probably want 300 dpi. If not, you can go less than that. But generally, just go with the default. Maybe 200 is good. Um, basically, Retina display, roughly a little bit less than Retina display resolution. But you want to click on this Format tab. And here, if it's going to be a print map, definitely make select CMYK. If it's going to be a, a map for the screen or something, RGB is fine. And this is crucial. Where it says picture symbol raster, rasterize layers with bitmap markers and fills, you want to select vectorize layers. So basically what this is saying is don't make it an image, make it vector art. And Illustrator is a vector program. So definitely do that. Convert marker symbols to polygons. If you don't do that, oftentimes it, um, what you think is a city symbol will end up being a font, and your computer won't have that font slash type, and therefore you'll get little silly exclamation points or something. And um, let's see, use display expression, ah, whatever. So that's what you want to do. Hit save. Now let's test this out. Granada. And again, always, always, always hit update. Voila, we have it here. And all of our little point symbols came in. And yes, we have a bunch of clipping masks, of course. But that's how you export from ArcGIS to Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching.